Hello and welcome to our second recorded uh, prayer activity for our Lent course. So you will uh, hopefully know already um, and have watched Reverend Andrew's video from last week. Uh, we are following a course from the diocese called Come and See, which is being um, taking us through the Beatitudes throughout Lent. Um, and it's led uh, by videos from Bishop Stephen each week, um, but also each week comes with a prayer activity, um, a, res a responsive, reflective activity uh, that is designed to pick up on some of the themes that we look at each week in the course and that Bishop Stephen discusses in the course um, and will hopefully uh, stay with us beyond Lent. Um, just some useful activities. You may not get on with each of them um, or any of them, but they are uh, just useful things to um, maybe become tools and part of your uh, daily uh, prayer practices. So this week uh, we are looking at the mirror. We're using, uh, we're looking at the Beatitudes through the lens of a mirror. And to um, reflect on this, we are uh, doing an activity in noticing today. So this practice is based on a simple spiritual tool that was developed many, many years ago by St Ignatius of Loyola. It is about noticing the apparently small and insignificant details of life and realising that they are signs pointing to personal, spiritual and community truth. So as with last week, I invite you to relax um, and remember that this is not all down to you. You're part of the receiving. Breathe deeply and smile for yourself and then smile, breathe and maybe make eye contact with somebody in the group. We're going to uh, be doing something that's a form of the examen. So. Could I invite you to sit comfortably and in a way that is balanced, leaning neither forwards nor backwards. You may want to close your eyes and just listen to my voice. Now simply smile and breathe. Be aware of your breathing. Feel the breath coming in and your breath going out. Try and lengthen the in-breath, breathing not just from your chest, but from your belly. Try and extend the out-breath too. If you find your mind racing, just simply return to this breathing practice. When you are ready, I invite you to open one hand, touching the thumb with your other hand. A thumbs up is a denote, uh, it denotes something that's good. Bring to mind the things that you are grateful for. The ways in which you feel blessed. Name and thank God for these things. Next, touch your index or your pointing finger. It asks the questions, where? Bring to mind where you have seen good. Where have you sensed God at work?
Next, pointing to or holding the tallest finger. What has stood out in your day? Calling to mind the people that you have met, the situations that you have found yourself in, and the things that you've experienced. If you were to write a headline for today, what would it be? Now touch your fourth finger. This is considered to be the weakest finger. It prompts us to explore what we might have done differently today. Where have you not lived up to your commitment to yourself or to others, to God and to the world? Where might you have hurt someone, maybe not noticing them at the time? And now holding the little finger, the smallest finger that brings balance to tasks like writing or holding a cup. Is there anything in your life that is out of balance and needs change or adjustment? What small changes could you make for another day that will bring more balance to your life and the world around you? Almighty and ever-loving God, we thank you for Jesus' teachings in the Beatitudes. We thank you for the mirror that they hold up to our own lives. Would you help us to see clearly those places where we can find balance, where we can help others who are weak? but also help us to notice those places where we are blessed, where we can see you so clearly at work. Stay with us as we continue to journey together through Lent. We ask in your son's name. Amen. And so I invite you to open your eyes, bring your attention back into the room that you're in, have a stretch and a smile. So I hope that you found something there that was useful to you. Um, the examen is uh, something that's used by thousands of people all over the world and has, has been uh, used for centuries uh, and is a really simple thing because it's based on looking at your hand and remembering those five simple things 
can be done really simply um, at any moment uh, and can be an easily a trigger to remind us to look for those good things and to think about uh, where life might need balancing um, every time we look at our hands. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, week two of our prayer activities for Lent. Uh, join us again next week where you'll have another member of the clergy uh, taking you through week three. God bless. <laughs>